Hello students, welcome back to my geography class. Today we are going to complete the last topic of the first chapter of geography that is India size and location. So let us see what is our today's topic. Here it is India's neighbors. So this is our today's topic. So let us begin. India occupies an important strategic position in South Asia. India has 29 states and 7 union territories. Actually in our previous class we have already learnt that India is situated in the southern as well as central part of Asia continent. Here it is written that India has 29 states and 7 union territories. But this data has been changed now and at present there are 28 states and 8 union territories. After the completion of the chapter I will explain India's, India's states and its union territories in a detailed way. So right now I move to the next line. India shares its land boundaries with Pakistan and Afghanistan in the northwest, China, Nepal and Bhutan in the north and Myanmar and Bangladesh in the east. Our southern neighbors across the sea consist of the two island countries namely Sri Lanka and Maldives. Actually in these lines it is, it is mentioned the location of India's neighboring countries. In order to find out the location of India's neighboring countries, countries, we have to take the help of map. Before I mention the location of India's neighboring countries, the first thing that we need to know is directions. As you all know that there are four major directions which are known as cardinal directions like this north, east, south and west. So these four major directions are known as cardinal directions. Apart from these cardinal directions there are four other directions which are known as intermediate directions and intermediate directions are those directions which lie between the cardinal directions as you could see the area between two cardinal direction is known as intermediate direction and how do we mark it say it this is northeast this is southeast this is south west and this one north west. So in this way we find there are four directions, four cardinals and four intermediates. So with the help of all these directions we are going to find out the location of India's neighboring countries. So we are going to start with northwest part of India. So in the northwest there are two neighboring countries. The first one is Pakistan and second one is Afghanistan. If I talk about the northern part of India. So this side we have three neighboring countries. The first one is Nepal, second one is Bhutan, third one is China in which Tibet also comes. Actually Tibet has been occupied by China and because of that it is its part. If I talk about the eastern side, so this side we have two neighboring countries. The first one is Myanmar and second one is Bangladesh. So in this way there are total seven, there are total seven neighboring countries towards the land boundary of India. Now we should see how many countries lie towards the ocean side. So this side 
we see there are two island countries the first one is sri lanka and second one is maldives so sri lanka is situated south east of india while sri maldives are located to south of lakshadweep islands so in this way we got that there are total nine neighboring countries of india so this was all about the location of india's neighboring countries now see what is the next line here sri lanka is separated from india by a narrow channel of sea formed by the park strait and the gulf of manar while maldives islands are situated to the south of the lakshadweep islands here just now we have discussed the location of maldives islands that they are situated to the south of lakshadweep islands now see what is about sri lanka sri lanka is separated from india by a narrow channel of sea narrow channel of sea formed by park strait and gulf of mannar so what is park strait and gulf of mannar let us see in the map here we can find that sri lanka is here and the southern part of india is here so between these two there is a narrow channel of water that is called park strait actually park strait is a narrow channel of water that separates two land masses see here the first land mass is india and second one is sri lanka so in this way two land masses india and sri lanka are separated by this park strait the other thing about park strait is that it connects two water bodies so which two water bodies it connects so as here we see bay of bengal is here arabian sea here indian ocean this side okay so in this way park strait connects two water bodies so this is this is park strait now what about gulf of mannar so the northern most province of sri lanka is known as mannar where there is a gulf what is gulf a gulf is a narrow mouth of a land mass which is connected to an ocean so here here a gulf is there and after that a park strait so these two water bodies basically separates sri lanka from india so we so we got so we understood these lines also now see what is the next see this is our last paragraph and what is written here india has had strong geographical and historical links with her neighbors look at the physical map of asia in your atlas and note how india stands apart from rest of asia in order to discuss the last paragraph once again i would take you towards the world map basically in world map i would show and concentrate on asia continent here as you see this is the part of asia continent and in this we can easily see india is centrally located between east and west asia the strategic location of india has contributed to the exchange of ideas and commodities through land and ocean since ancient time all these things we had already discussed in our previous classes apart from that you should know that india and its neighboring countries that i have we have just discussed so india and its neighboring countries are isolated from the rest of asia asia landmass by mountains as you know here himalayan mountains and here indian ocean so because of this isolation because of this isolation and other geographical factors like climate and cultural factors the region is also referred as indian subcontinent so this was all about 
this chapter so now see the chapter is come to an end so as i mentioned earlier that at the end of the chapter i will also discuss the indian states and union territories so let us start first we are going to discuss union territory what is union territory a union territory is a type of administrative division in india which is ruled directly by the union government and you know earlier you had studied that there are seven union territory so i i am just going to show you the location see the first one is here chandigarh capital of punjab as well as haryana second one is delhi third one is daman and diu fourth one is dadra and nagar haveli now see the rest here fifth one is puducherry that is in the state of tamil nadu sixth one is lakshadweep seventh one is andaman and nicobar island so these seven union territories i hope you uh, know very well but i should and one more thing that you might have heard what is that that uh, one important news you might have got that uh, on 5th august 2019 the government of india dissolve article 370 of the constitution and bifurcated jammu and kashmir into two union territories the first one is jammu and kashmir and second one is ladakh so on that basis in india there should be total nine union territories but i said that at present we have only eight union territories how it is let us find the answer see in order to get the answer we have to consent we have to focus on this area as i mentioned that there are two union territories the first one is daman and diu and second one is dadra and nagar haveli so dadra and nagar haveli and daman and diu are combined into a single union territory from 26 january 2020 uh this is mainly done to reduce administrative cost as there had been four areas so i think you got the answer that how india has eight union territories now i am going to discuss the location of all the 28th states so before i show you the location of india's state first important thing i would like to mention with you which which will help you in order to learn we are going to start to find out the location of indian states from the western boundary okay so all the states which are located at the western boundary so they are total 7 in the same manner if i find out eastern boundary and northern boundary okay so there will be 8 states so there will be total 15 and 5 you can find in this middle part so in this way there will be 20 states in this area okay and the rest 8 you can find here so thus there will be 28 states so now let us see one by one the location of all these states so the first one is punjab second Rajasthan third one is Gujarat fourth Maharashtra fourth Maharashtra fifth Goa sixth Karnataka and seven Kerala eight Tamil Nadu nine Arunachal uh, sorry uh, and Andhra Pradesh 10 orissa 11 west bengal 12 bihar 13 
यूपी फोर्टीन उत्तराखंड नाउ फिफ्टीन आई हैव टू शो हेयर फिफ्टीन इज हेयर हिमाचल प्रदेश सिक्सटीन दिस वन हरियाणा सेवेंटीन मध्य प्रदेश एटीन छत्तीसगढ़ नाइनटीन झारखंड एंड ट्वेंटी तेलंगाना सो इन दिस वे यू गॉट द लोकेशन ऑफ ऑल द ट्वेंटी स्टेट्स नाउ आई शुड मूव टू द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न साइड एंड सी द रेस्ट ऑफ द एट स्टेट्स लोकेशन हियर ट्वेंटी वन दैट इज सिक्किम आसाम ट्वेंटी टू अरुणाचल प्रदेश ट्वेंटी थ्री नागालैंड ट्वेंटी फोर मणिपुर ट्वेंटी फाइव मिजोरम ट्वेंटी सिक्स त्रिपुरा ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड फाइनली मेघालय ट्वेंटी एट इन दिस वे वी लर्न द लोकेशन ऑफ ऑल द ट्वेंटी एथ स्टेट्स एंड एट यूनियन टेरिटरीज आई होप यू हैव इजली अंडरस्टूड ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो नाउ इन दिस वे वी कंप्लीटेड आर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज इंडिया साइज एंड लोकेशन सो टिल देन गुड बाय इफ यू डेंट वॉच माई फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो आई हैव शेयर द लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन